Hey what's up guys Winston here and today we'll be taking a quick look at the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend 16GB OC Edition. This graphics card uses AMD's latest 7900 series GRE GPU and runs at a slightly overclocked boost speed of 2333MHz. The default is 2245 MHz, while the game clock runs a slightly faster 1972 MHz. The default is 1880 MHz. And for those who don't know already, GRE stands for Golden Rabbit Edition in celebration for the Year of the Rabbit during 2023. It features 80 ray accelerators, 80 compute units, 160 AI accelerators, and a total of 5120 stream processors. Along with the overclocked GPU, it has a total of 16GB of GDDR6 RAM on a 256-bit memory bus running at a speed of 18 gigabits per second. For cooling, it comes with a triple fan design, striped axle fans, a stylish metal backplate, a reinforced steel frame, 5 heat pipes, and an LED on-off switch for the ASRock Polychrome Sync. Video outputs include 3 DisplayPort 2.1 and 1 HDMI 2.1. The card features two 8-pin PCI power connectors and has a typical board power of around about 260 watts so we recommend a minimum power supply of 750 watts or higher. Now this card should perform somewhere between a Radeon RX 7800 XT and a 7900 XT and should offer similar performance to a GeForce RTX 4070 Super. So uh, let's not waste any time, put this into our test rig and see how it goes but before we do that uh, we'll do a quick unboxing and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend 16 gigabyte OC edition. All right, let's take a look inside the box. Okay, we have a quick installation guide and uh, the graphics card itself. So let's take a look. Okay, here we have the graphics card. This is the uh, ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend. It uses AMD's latest 7900 series GRE GPU with a slightly overclocked boost speed of 2333 MHz. The default is uh, 2245 MHz. It also has a slightly faster game clock at 1972 megahertz the default is 1818 megahertz and you can see it comes with a nice white shroud with uh, a triple fan cooling system it's got the uh, striped axial fans and uh, the back here we have a nice back plate metal back plate and uh, a reinforced steel frame as well with a massive heat sink with five heat pipes. Okay. Let's take a look at the top here. We have the uh, LED on off, which controls the LED on the uh, fans. We have two eight pin PCI power connectors, and this board has a typical board power of around about 260 watts. So we recommend a minimum power supply of 750 watts or higher. And for video outputs, we have a HDMI 2.1 and 3 DisplayPort 2.1. It also has a very large heat sink, you can see right there. Helps with the cooling. And of course, you can see the heat pipes inside as well. And here on the top, we have the Steel Legend branding there. But this one doesn't light up with LED, only the actual uh, fans here, which actually lights up with the RGB. To test this card, we'll be using an Intel Core i9 14900K processor sitting on a Z790 motherboard along with 32GB of DDR5 7200 RAM. So uh, we'll see how it performs. Alright, so this was a quick unboxing of the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend OC 16GB graphics card. Mm -hmm. 
So what can we say about the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend 16GB OC graphics card? Well, it performed as we expected, and it sits nicely between the Radeon RX 7800 XT and the higher end Radeon RX 7900 XTX. The ASRock Steel Legend's all-white design makes this card extremely attractive for anyone who wants to build an all-white gaming PC. During our tests, we used the usual test rig, which is comprised of an Intel Core i9 14900K and a Zeus ROG Strix Z790E gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, along with a 32GB of DDR5 7200 RAM. With all settings on auto, we got really good scores in all of our benchmarks, including a high score of 4982 for Basemark GPU, an AMD FSR2 score of 69.54 frames per second, and a Passmark 10 GPU score of 35613. For 3 d Mark Times Buy and Fire Strike, you could use a score of 21,693 and 40,441 respectively. Next, for Speedway and Port Royal, you could use decent scores of 4,256 and 11,865 respectively. For Unigen's Valley Benchmark, we got a respectable score of 9,237 and a Final Fantasy Benchmark score of 17,308. For Superposition 1080p Extreme and Optimized 4K, we got decent scores of 12,124 and 15,665 respectively. And lastly, for Cyberpunk 2027, with ray tracing overdrive and psycho settings at 4K, we got a score of 21.33 frames per second. As you can see from the results, the ASRock Radeon RX 1700 GRE Steel Legend 16GB OC is a very capable graphics card and should be more than enough to satisfy most gamers who want a solid 1440p gaming experience with the option for the occasional 4K gaming. You can check out the full review on our website at funkykit.com. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the ASRock Radeon RX 7900 GRE Steel Legend 16GB OC Edition. It's a very good mid-range card for 1440 and 4K gaming. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and a leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com.